Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair. I'm an MPH candidate at Eastern Washington University. And this is video number two on creating forms with EpiInfo 7. So let's go ahead and start EpiInfo and get it going here. Um, we're going to pick up today where we left off in the last video um, with the form we were building. We'll click Create Forms. And then we can just go today to the File menu and Recent Projects. Um, we had named our project Epi Learning, which is the first one on the list here. <coughs> and here's our form, right where we left off. Just a title. Uh, let's start by changing the font on the title. We can do that by, by right-clicking choosing properties. Um, you may recognize this box that popped up as the box we get when we create the the field. Um, click font here towards the bottom and let's just choose bold italic and 20, size 20. Click OK. It gives us a preview here. OK, and you can see that it's changed. All right, so let's add a couple of other fields today. Uh, let's start off with a unique identifier um, so that we can keep each record, um, keep track of each record without having, you know, personally identifi identifiable information. Um, so that's right here on this side. And remember, we just click and drag, drop it here on our forum. Um, now the prompt is what the pe person filling out the form will see, and you know what goes in this space. Um, so we're going to call it ID number. If we click here, it automatically fills in a field name for us, and then. These things are grayed out um, because this is a field that EpiInfo will fill automatically for us. So we'll just click OK. <coughs> and you can see, here we go. Um, and it has automatically filled it with an ID, ID number. So um, now you'll notice there are kind of two separate pieces here on the field. Um, so if we click the field name at the top, the two pieces move together. If you click the the space, the blank um, part of the field down below, you can move it separately. So just remember that they that this set uh, clicking here moves them separately. Clicking the, the field name moves them together. <coughs> so let's add another field that is uh, gives us some options. So we'll choose this option field here. Click and drag and drop it on our form. Let's make this one about gender. So we'll make the prompt gender. click on field name, it's filled in automatically for us. Um, and then we have some options here down below. So we can we can list the options um, that people will have to choose from to answer gender. Um, we can list them vertically or horizontally. Um, we can list on the left or right. Um, we can show the label for each choice on the right or the left. And then we can choose how many choices there are in in the list. Um, so let's, uh, since we're talking gender, let's go ahead and give people um, the option to self-identify as male, female, or other. That'll give us give us three choices. Um, so we'll just click three, and 
you know, it's down below here. Now we have three choices, and this is where we will define those choices. So we'll define them as male, female, and other. Click OK. <coughs> okay, so now it has kind of created this field to be short and long, and so our, our three choices aren't really in a vertical row the way I hoped they would be, but we can fix that by readjusting the size of the box. Just like that. Okay, let's click it and drag it over here. Just like that. Alright, so let's do let's do one more um, field on our form here. And let's make it a field that has a drop-down menu. Um, so to create a drop-down menu, we're going to use um, the legal values field, which is right here. So let's click and drag. Okay, um, we'll make this question about education. When we click here, the field name's filled automatically. Um, if we want to make sure that this is a question that if this is a question is important to us and we want to make sure that it's answered, we can click required. It, whoever's filling out the form will have to answer this question before they can move on um, by by clicking that button. Um, so to define the categories of this drop-down menu, we'll use this data source um, section here. We can click this little ellipsis button and here we'll click create new okay so it's given us here uh, education and then down below here is where we'll fill in our options so let's say high school is our lowest choice as far as educational attainment and then we can say some college, um, a four-year degree, and graduate or pro oops, professional degree. Okay. <clears throat> now, when we set up this drop-down menu, it will automatically sort the choices in alphabetical order unless we tell it not to. Now for this uh, for this menu it makes some sense to have them sort of least to greatest. So I'm going to click down here where it says do not sort because I wanted to leave our choices in this order rather than sorting them alphabetically. So click OK. Click OK. And it's created our field. And if we click here on the box, you can see we have a drop down menu to choose from. All right, thank you very much. This has been uh, video number two, creating forms. And we'll pick up with video number three right where we left off with this form. Thank you.